Okay. We need to use the weapon. Now there's some wood back there. You can take home practice of this wood. Okay. Make a lot of stuff out of tree branches, right? Huh? Use a roughing gouge. <laughs> and that works pretty good. That's bigger than the stick. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have gotten to where I use the, my roughing skew. And you've all, uh, I'll wager the bet, every one of you has a roughing skew. <laughs> it's a roughing, it's a skew, chisel. Uh, I'm going to go that direction. Okay. <laughs> Anchor. Make an egg. By the way, for your practice wood, you notice this is expensive, you know, exotic Home Depot wood. Just the two by four, basically I think the two by six works better, and rip it down square, you know, eight, ten inches long, and you can get a couple dozen pieces of wood for two bucks. You know? Okay. Let's make it round first.
almost round. Okay, <clears throat> what I like to do is put a tenon on uh, one end and put it in a chuck. It gives you unlimited access to one end. For the sake of time, I'll just do it between centers. Now, something about an egg. First of all, an egg, the reason it's good practice, it's a continuous flow. There's no flat spots on an egg. And it's symmetrical. I mean, it's it follows the golden mean. You know, follows the rules. You know, you know, one third, three fifths, whatever. So I measured a bunch of eggs and came up with this formula. The length of an egg is 1.3 times the diameter of the egg, and the wide spot is the radius from the big end. I've got some handouts here. Check it in. Check it in. Rooster egg? Oyster? Let me uh, Let me pass these around. Just everything. All right. So we've got. About an inch and three eighths. An inch and three eighths diameter is going to be one and thirteen sixteenths long. This is going to be the fat end, and that'll be the wide spot. It's just making a bead, a lopsided bead. I'm going to lower the tool rest a little bit to get my angle.
Okay, now then, you can work that down, worry that turned down to it's nothing, and then, you know, cut it off and sand it down. Or, <clears throat> you can use a cup chuck. This is, uh, these are all homemade. Just, um, Steve Crotwine did a demonstration on this one time. This egg goes in there, <coughs> tighten it down, and you take. If you're going to use a chuck, cup chuck, one tip is to leave this nub on here so you can center it up. And then, uh, different sizes. And I, uh, also, I made some jam chucks. Now this one, <clears throat> you have to make to kind of fit your egg, okay? If you come up with an odd size, you can make a jam chuck. This, uh, got this idea from uh, Alan Stratton on YouTube. Just a, what's that, PVC coupling, <coughs> make the insert for the eggs, and this insert to go in the, the lid in, hold the egg, you have enough hand, then you can work on the, getting that nub off. Let's try to do some baluster here. <clears throat> when I was uh, kind of figuring this out, I was standing by my front door and uh, standing right beside an example. Well, I took a picture. This is the balusters, the, the entryway into my, in my house. So, uh, we try to make one. In case I don't get it done. <clears throat> and I'll use one for an example for this pattern right there. Okay. So we're gonna start off making pommels on the ends. Dan, did you get your question answered?
Ja. This is where uh, the small skew comes in handy. Now we have a cove. Round over the edge. Now we have a bead. Get the bifocals focused. Got another code.
cold and a bead. Didn't measure very good, did I? Good without measuring anything. <laughs> and I didn't get it round, got a flat spot there. But we're in a rush. Okay. <laughs> Any questions? I like to suggest for the demo challenge make an egg, a baluster, or just a practice stick. Just, you know, here, I'm, I'm going to pass down some of the practice sticks here. I, a whole, I just did stuff, you know, for uh, practice. You can just do something like that, whatever, everything with the skew. Egg, I think you'll find they're kind of fun. Anybody still awake? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's about all I have. Jeff's going to run us off.